You welcome to today's news on the Kente Business Journal. My name is Rahel Uredo Upuku. Please stay tuned. In our headline story coming from the Somali region in Ethiopia, about 12,000 people have been displaced with 20 dead due to flash floods that were triggered by a rainstorm. The heavy downpour has resulted in the destruction of bridges and roads, making it challenging to reach affected households. There's been extensive damage to livestock, crops and properties, which has worsened the situation. The UN's humanitarian agency has said that at least 47,100 people have been relocated located to high grounds to avoid the risk of flooding. Now in Guinea yesterday, unknown gunmen stormed the main prison in the country's capital, freeing the former president, Musa Kamara, and three others. This led to the closure of the country's borders. In a statement, prosecutor Yamusa Konta said he has ordered authorities to investigate charges of escaping jail and weapons possession against Kamara and his three companions. However, an attorney for Kamara said late Saturday afternoon that the former president was rather abducted by armed men, denying that he had willingly participated in a jailbreak. The attorney confirmed that he's been recaptured and is back at the central jail where he's been questioned. The former president, who was a dictator, came to power through a coup d'etat in 2008 and has been in detention in connection with a stadium massacre that left 157 people dead during his time in power. He's been in exile for years before returning to Guinea in 2021. The Africa Export Import Bank has ordered 11 African central banks into its leading Pan African payment and settlement system while expecting the remaining central banks will join by next year. This move has marked a significant milestone in the effort to reduce expenses and streamline trade within the region. The Pan African Payment and Settlement System, or PAPS, is a collaboration with the African Union that offers an alternative in which participants can conduct transactions in their currencies in a bid to eliminate the necessity for a third-party currency such as the US dollar. The African Bank estimates that more than 80% of intra-African payments currently pass through either European or US channels, incurring costs of up to $5 billion in fees and compliance expenses. The key participants in the PAM system are central banks which will serve as regulators and clearance agents, commercial banks, fintech companies, payment service providers and the customers including businesses operating throughout the region. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Kente Business Journal TV and press the notification bell to stay updated always.